Arizona quotes, USC quotes, notes LAS Vegas, DeAndre Ayn dribbled through the sea of red and white confetti, bobbing and weaving past cheerleaders and fans. The Arizona big man came upon a security guard, dropped a spin move that left both smiling and headed to the locker room. Ayn's night at the Pac-12 championship was just a smoother ride. Ayton had 32 points and 18 rebounds in one of the most dominating performances in Pac-12 tournament history, leading no. 15 Arizona to its second straight title with a 75-61 victory over Southern California on Saturday night. The dominance, he just put forth, if there's another player better, I'd like to meet him, Arizona coach Sean Miller said. He put his team on his back, played the right way and absolutely was a one-man wrecking crew. Aiden put on a show along the strip bouncing back from a nervous Pac-12 opener against Colorado with two dominating games. Bahamian big man had 32 points and 14 rebounds in a semi-final win over UCLA and knocked the Trojans, 23-11, around like bowling pins in the championship game. Aiden made 14 of 20 shots from the floor and all four of his free throws to lead Arizona 27-8 to its ninth Pac-12 title. I was a little starstruck, I wasn't ready, rushing all of my shots against Colorado, not taking my time, said Aiden, who matched the Pac-12 freshman record set by UCLA's Kevin Love with his 23rd double-double. Coach told me to face up, see what the defense is giving me and that's what I did. USC gave Arizona trouble with its zone at times and had a decent defensive night. The Trojans just had no answer for Aiden. I don't think you're going to stop a guy like that, so we just have to try to do our best to contain him, said Nick Rakasevic, led USC with 13 points. Although he went off tonight, related video, DeAndre Aiden after clutch performance, this is unbelievable. The Trojans have played without Benny Boatwright since Feb. 15, when he suffered a season-ending knee injury, and backup point guard Derek Thornton missed the semifinals due to an illness. In the title game, USC had success getting into the lane and with its pick-and-roll on offense while giving the Wildcats trouble with its zone. Arizona had success getting to the offensive glass eight in the first half, and by getting the ball to Aiton, who had 13 points and eight rebounds by halftime. USC led 33-30. We had a three-point lead at halftime in a Pac-12 championship, USC coach Andy Enfield said. That's what you play for, that's what you dream about, but Aiton continued to be a nightmare in the second half and USC went down a big man when Chemezi Metu picked up his fourth foul with 12 minutes left. Arizona took off from there, literally. Raul Elkins brought the pro Arizona crowd to a roar with a two-handed dunk over Elijah Stewart and Aiton followed with another dunk to make it even louder, putting Arizona up 53-46. Aiton kept dunking and the crowd kept roaring until the confetti cannons went off. Big picture USC, likely locked up a spot in the NCAA tournament after its semifinal victory, but might sweat a little on Selection Sunday Arizona, looking like one of the nation's best teams at just the right time and should get a high seed in the NCAA tournament. Elkins, dunk Elkins dunk over Stewart caused maybe the loudest of the night in T-Mobile Arena and still had Arizona's players talking long after the game. It took me a few seconds to realize what happened, Arizona center Dushan Ristic said. It was one of the best dunks I'd ever seen in my life.